Boys, Shadowlands is just over 14 days away. And I've not really been hyped, but all of a sudden, it's hit me. I'm getting a little bit excited now. I've started to come to terms with the travesty that was Battle for Azeroth, and I'm now looking forward to starting afresh in the Shadowlands. As a long-term player of World of Warcraft, and the Warcraft franchise as a whole, I can remember playing Warcraft 2 when I was a small child. Warcraft 3 and the Frozen Throne has some of the best lore in the entire universe in my opinion. And to be going into the Shadowlands and expanding on Arthas' lore, I am hyped. Even though he isn't the centerpiece of the Shadowlands, he is still going to be there and we're still going to find out more about him and his story. I know there's a lot of negativity surrounding Shadowlands and World of Warcraft at the moment, but I recommend going in with an open mind and giving Blizzard one last chance. That's what I'm going to be doing at least anyway. This expansion has the potential to be amazing. We just need to see if it pulls through and actually does it. So with the expansion being just over two weeks away, what are some of the things that you can do to get ready and to prepare? This might be some last minute things that you may have overlooked or forgotten about, or maybe some other videos haven't actually brought up yet. My aim is to level both characters to max level on launch. And that's going to be pretty tough being an EU beta cook and the launch starting at midnight for us. But that is my goal. So what are some of the things that you can do to help smooth out that leveling process and get you to max level as quick as possible? Let's find out. So the first thing you might be asking is, why are you going to be leveling two characters instead of getting all the renown and farming dungeons before the reset occurs? And that's because back in October, someone on Twitter asked Blizzard if there's any plans to stop people from capping renown and things such as that before the first reset. Blizzard actually replied and they said, apparently, they're going to try and stop it. Now, Blizzard have said similar things in the past. An example of this is back in Legion when they said you're not going to be able to acquire new legendaries from saving up your uh, daily satchels. Well, that turned out to be a lie. Um, so I'd recommend taking this with a grain of salt and just see what actually happens on launch. I know EU has a slight advantage in that we get the launch one day before reset. So if you do level quickly to max level, there is an opportunity to smash some things in before the reset. This might not be the case, but just I recommend keeping your ear to the ground and seeing what happens on launch day. Now, the next point is, should you stockpile quests to hand in? And in my opinion, I think it's only worthwhile doing on an alt. Now, the reasoning for this is, on your first character, you need to complete the entirety of the Shadowlands campaign. So you need to do all the side, well, not all the side quests, but you need to do all the main story, unlock all the covenants, and by that point, you will be max level. So getting that early advantage is kind of pointless. I mean, if you've got the quests ready and a full inventory of them, feel free, stock them up and hand them in as soon as the servers come back up. The only place I'd recommend doing this for is on an alt. And that's because your alt, you can choose your covenant from the very beginning. So I don't believe you're necessarily going to need to complete the entirety of a campaign. So you might save yourself a little bit of time, but is it really worth doing? I don't think so, unless you're trying to go for the non-existent server thirsts, which not going to lie, I wish you did bring that back, Blizzard. That stuff was fun. So if you can't stockpile quests and you can't blast your way to max level to cram some stuff in before the reset, what can you do that's actually going to be beneficial and give you a slight advantage? Now, they're going to sound very, very boring and well, that's because they kind of are. But the first thing is clean your bloody bags. Sort that out. I'm sure it's full of absolute rubbish that's in there from BFA. Remove it, get rid of it, just delete it. Don't even vendor it. Vendors don't even want that stuff. Just get rid of it. Go on. And make sure to do the same thing with your Regents tab. You don't need half of that crap anymore. Stick it on the auction house if you want, or just get rid of it. Clean slate, go in Shadowlands fresh. You don't need the gold. I mean, you probably do actually. That's terrible, terrible advice for me. Ignore that. But the point still stands. Clean your bags, clear your bank. You'll, you'll thank yourself in the future. On the topic of cleaning things, clean your bars. Get rid of some stuff that's on there that you don't need. I'm sure you've got some macros on there that are probably dating back to Legion that you've not even touched. Get rid of them and set up some new keybinds for your new skills you're going to be getting. You already know in advance how many new abilities you're going to get. Get some space sorted, sort out the keybinds, sort out some weak auras if needed. You'd rather have it ready to go now instead of interrupting your leveling and having to sort out bars and weak auras then. Now, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is buy Goblin Glider Kits and buy them now. They're only going to start going up in price. It happens every single expansion. 
The closer it gets to the expansion, the higher in price they go. They will save you time whilst traversing the Shadowlands. Buy them now, thank yourself later. The same can also be said for the gun shoes. Although they're not as helpful as the goblin gliders, they're still very useful. Another thing that you can do, starting from this reset, is collect the new pre-patch catch-up gear. That's a mouthful to say. It starts at item level 100, and is going to be a big upgrade for a freshly boosted character, or maybe an undergeared ult you might have. While gear isn't going to make the biggest difference whilst leveling, it's definitely going to help. And if you've got nothing better to do between now and the launch of Shadowlands, it's worth getting. So yeah, off the top of my head, those are most of the things that I'd recommend doing. I came into this expecting to have a few more items, but the more and more research I did, the more it appears Blizzard has tried to tone down stuff like this, which is kind of a shame because it was always one of my biggest and, you know, most exciting moments of the expansion, the actual launch. Being able to know life and degenerately try hard for the first 24 hours, I, I just really enjoy. I enjoy it in any game. And I understand that Blizzard is trying to tone down that, but I kind of miss it. Regardless, I hope these tips help you guys. I know I've not made many videos lately. I might have been slightly hooked on the old school RuneScape League. I, I don't know. That game just consumed my life for the past two weeks. I've uh, I finally broken free of its grasp and I'm now back onto World of Warcraft. If there's anything else you guys like to add, let me know in the comments below. Give us a like. It helps a load. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'm going to be planning to smash out WoW content over the next, well, the course of Shadowlands, really. That is the plan. Um, so, yeah. Hope to see you guys around and uh, see you in Shadowlands. Take care.